I just built this AI real estate calling agent that pulls $5,000 or more in new sales without you even touching your phone. And after working through this whole system, I decided to show you exactly how this voice agent can start getting you leads this month using resources that you probably already have. And here's where things get interesting. Most real estate pros have hundreds or even thousands of past clients just collecting dust. Even at a 3% conversion, for every 100 calls, that could give you $15,000 in sales that you would have missed. In reality, you know you should be staying in touch with people, and when you do, it's either awkward, you come off as salesy, or you're just winging it without any real strategy. But this AI real estate calling agent changes everything. I connected it straight to a client database where it automatically calls a set number of leads every day, builds rapport by riffing on how we helped them before, and softly asks for repeat business or referrals. And if you have a tough time asking, the agent can even offer an incentive right on the spot. The moment somebody shows interest, books a meeting, or gives a referral, it shoots me an SMS so that I could just jump right in and take over. And if you're new here, I'm Mike. I've been in the AI industry for two years. Now I help real estate pros and business owners cut through the hype to use AI to scale their businesses and make more money. So if you want to see exactly how this real estate AI caller works and whether those 3% conversion rates can actually generate 5,000 or more in sales from leads that you already own, then stick around. I'm going to show you my entire setup and how you can start using it for yourself. So let's get straight into it. All right, so after talking to dozens of real estate pros and business owners myself, AI callers are one of the number one requested solutions that I personally get here. So this video is riffing off of that idea. In a second, I'm going to activate this whole AI system and get the agent to call me right now so you guys can see what the whole thing looks like in action. At the end of the day, this is one of the easiest lead gen methods out there, and I'm really excited to jump into this with you guys. So let's not waste any time and jump straight into a demo here. So the AI agent's going to call me in a few seconds here, but just to give you guys some context, when this workflow activates, it's going to connect into this client database that I have here. Now this is a test database of a bunch of past clients, and I'm going to pretend like I'm one of the past clients for this real estate agency. You'll see exactly how the agent handles the conversation, sets me up to potentially become repeat business or to offer a referral. Hey John, this is Kaylee. I work with Mike over at the Sunset Group. We wanted to call to check in on how you're enjoying your new home on Pacific Drive. Do you have a minute to catch up? Uh, hi Kaylee, good morning. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I actually have a couple seconds to talk right now, but I've got to head out to a meeting in about 30 minutes. So uh, yeah, we could talk for a moment. Good morning, John. Thanks for taking a moment to chat before your meeting. I'll keep it quick. How's everything going with the house? I hope it's been treating you well. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, yeah, my family and I are loving the place. The location's fantastic. And, you know, we're really happy that we bought during the time we did. The market's really going crazy right now. So it's just great to finally have a place that we could really settle down into and really start to enjoy here. Oh, that's so wonderful to hear, John. It's always great when everything falls into place like that. And you're absolutely right. The market has been wild lately. I'm so glad you and your family found the perfect spot to call home. Before I let you go, I was curious. Do you or anyone you know happen to be thinking about buying, selling, or even investing in real estate? Mike's offering a little fall referral promo right now, so I just wanted to mention it in case it could be helpful. So if you're actually serious about adopting AI for your business, then you happen to own a company or you're a real estate pro, I'm officially launching a brand new community to teach you exactly how to adopt AI that's complete with exclusive courses, a set of pre-built AI agents that you can start using this week, and an epic AI lead gen machine that I designed while working with actual real estate pros. So if you join now, you'll get free lifetime access to the community before I actually upgrade it to a paid resource. Go ahead and join the community with the first link in my description. Or number two, if you're actually interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me to see what AI can actually do for your business, then use link number two to actually book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Anyways, let's get straight back into the video. Um, yeah, you know, it's interesting that you bring that up. Um, oh, really? Yeah. What's on your mind? Yeah, my sister-in-law actually is looking to sell her condo in Santa Monica, and she's trying to... Um, well, she's growing her family right now, and she's looking to find a place that's a little bit bigger so she and her husband can actually move into that and start to settle down like we did. And, you know, thinking about Mike's services, um, you, you guys might be able to help. That's fantastic, John. It sounds like she's in a really exciting chapter of life. We'd absolutely love to help her out. Do you know if she has a timeline in mind for selling her condo and making the move? Or is she still in the early stages of planning? You know, she's been thinking about it for a while, but she told me that she's probably looking to move within the next six to eight months or so, if that works for you guys. That's perfect timing, actually. It gives us plenty of room to plan and make sure she gets the best value for her condo while finding the right new place for her growing family. How about this? Would it be helpful if I set up a quick call with Mike? He can give her a market value assessment 
for her condo and answer any questions she might have. No pressure at all. Um, yeah, I appreciate you offering that. I could run it by her for sure. And uh, in the meantime, yeah, I, I suppose we could set up a quick time to meet. That sounds great, John. Let's get something on the calendar. I'll check Mike's availability for a quick call. One moment while I pull up some options for you. All right, here are a few options for a quick call with Mike. Today, September 10th at 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m. or 3 p.m. Tomorrow, September 11th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Friday, September 12th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Do any of these work for you? Uh, sure thing. I'm thinking Friday at 10 a.m. if we could do that. Got it. Friday, September 12th at 10 a.m. Let me just confirm a couple of details before I book it. I see we don't have your email on file. Could you share it with me so we can send you the confirmation details? Yeah, definitely. It's Mike at nightshiftai.com. Thanks, Mike. Just to confirm, your email is m-i-k-e at n-i-g-h-t-s-h-i-f-t-a-i.com, correct? Um, yes, that's correct. However, with shift, the I is actually a Y. Uh, got it. So it's M-I-K-E at N-I-G-H-T-S-H-Y-F-T-A-I dot com, correct? Yes, that's right. You're all set for Friday, September 12th at 10 a.m. Mike will give you a call then and will send the confirmation details to your email, mike at nightshifti.com. Is there anything else I can assist you with before we wrap up? Um, that'll be it. I appreciate it, Kaylee. And uh, thanks again for calling. Let Mike know that uh, we'll be happy to meet up with him this Friday. You're very welcome, John. I'll let Mike know, and we look forward to connecting with you on Friday. Have a great rest of your day, and good luck with your meeting. All right, so as you guys were able to see there, the voice agent was pretty adaptable to me kind of riffing off of a few ideas that I was having right there on the spot. It was able to adapt a little bit and remember some of the conversation so it could really emulate a more human-like delivery to actually build rapport with people. And one part of the demo you didn't see was these two text messages that I'll put up on screen right now. The first one was actually to remind me, the real estate broker, that I just booked in a hot lead on my calendar. And the second text was actually the AI system just updating me. Today's AI calling has been officially completed. And I really wanted this system to be as interactive as possible. So it feels like you actually have an AI employee that's working for you to accomplish this task here. One interesting bit that you probably noticed in the AI conversation is when I gave it my email, I was actually able to go back and correct the spelling of my email without having to fully explain or repeat myself. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with actual human callers is that phone receptionists often don't understand instructions like this right away. Now in this section of the video, I'm actually going to cover why this is practical, how this whole system really works, and how it can really lead to you generating more clients with less struggle. And after this section, I'm going to jump back into my N8N to show you guys how this system actually works for those of you who are more interested in the technical side of things. But for now, I'm going to be focusing on showing you how this agent can allow you to become more like this guy right here. Signing more contracts with clients, making more money, to leverage the resources he already has to find new opportunities that he would have otherwise missed out on. Now you might be asking what's the actual value behind this? Why should I care about reactivation? And is it all just a big waste of time? Now I'm going to try to answer these questions as best I can right now and let's start here. So in reality everybody has past clients. It doesn't matter who you are, how big your team is, or where you work. Now because these people have bought from you once, they're more likely to either buy from you again or refer somebody they know who might be interested in doing so. And you've already built that trust with them, so it becomes much easier to reestablish that contact. And because of this, there could quite literally be a fortune lying in contact bases that you already have, just waiting to be tapped into. And in order to really capitalize on this, this is sort of what we're looking at here on a really high level. So first up, we're obviously going to be connecting our lead database into an AI agent system like this to actually run through and really complete that AI real estate calling process. Now, because you probably have a lot of leads in this system, you're going to want to limit the number of people that it reaches out to at one time just to keep everything as lean as possible. And the ultimate issue that we're looking to solve here is to stop losing referrals and stop missing out on repeat business because we can't stay in contact with everybody all the time. And in this case, AI is really amplifying something that you're already working on right now to ultimately help you do your job better, not necessarily replace the way that you work. And if you're still curious about this, let me go over really quickly how this whole system works on a very simple level. So I've trained the AI agent itself to really work out how I want to gauge these conversations and how I want to personalize each introduction so I can maximize the ability to connect with past clients. And because I could train the agent, I can also control exactly how the 
conversation goes, what the agent offers, and how it actually integrates personalization into the process of softly asking for either repeat business or referrals. Obviously, the agent also alerts me of every new lead that I get by sending me a quick little text message just to keep me on top of everything that it's handling. Now, if you're asking why this works or if it even can work, then I'm here to tell you that everything that we're talking about today is based off of real world use cases. Whether you're using AI or human beings to work out this lead reactivation process, conversion rates tend to be around 3% for converting past clients into either repeat business or referrals. So if we were to run some math here for every 100 calls, then that could potentially lead you to $15,000 or more in revenue, depending on what your commission rates tend to be. And this is 15,000 that you would have missed otherwise if you weren't using a system like this, which most people aren't because they're either not hiring people to do it for them, or they're not willing to sit down for three, four hours a day to actually do this calling on their own. And in order to increase our likelihood of success, we do two things here. First, we have a gentle referral slash repeat business ask, which transitions directly from the conversation. When you combine this rapport and the more gentle approach here with some built-in incentives, such as promos, gift cards, or really anything you're willing to offer people in exchange for referrals, then you can really bump up this conversion rate right here and also reinforce your reputation even in the clients who decide not to do business or not to refer anybody to you. So in a nutshell, we're capitalizing on your existing database to make up for lost referrals and find new opportunities for repeat business by personalizing our conversations, letting you stay in the loop as a human, as a professional, and by combining a gentle rapport building process with built-in incentives and some AI driven outreach to actually save time, increase conversions, and help you really grow your business using opportunities that you might be overlooking right now. Now that we've covered this aspect of the video, let me actually jump into my N8N to really show you how this whole system works, how it connects into my CRM right here, and how we connected this custom voice agent into it to conduct the calls for us. By the way, if you want access to all these resources you're seeing in this video, then you can go ahead and hit my first link down in the description, join my free community, and actually get this template for yourself so that you can use it. I've also got some exclusive courses, access to a whole bunch of other other AI agent templates, and a growing community of other like-minded people who want to implement AI to grow their businesses. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then I'd be happy to have you in the community. But back to our workflow. This whole system is running on a scheduled trigger right now. So at the moment, I just have this set to trigger every three days at 10 o'clock in the morning. And you can set this to any interval you want. You could have it call people every day. You can have it call every other day, or you can even set it up to be just once a week. The whole idea here is to space out your calling so that you're not just trying to reach out to everybody all at once. Now, once this workflow is actually triggered, we're going to be tapping into our CRM, which in my case is just an Airtable database. And I'm going to be searching for records of all my past clients. And I've got this organized. So I have all information in here from the person's name, their contact information, what their budget was, whether we've called them yet or not, and also what their history was. So we can actually see what we did for each person here. So we can pass this information off to the AI agent to actually help us personalize these conversations. And because some of these clients have already been called before, we need to make sure that we're not calling people twice. There are several ways to do that, but the easiest way is what I'm about to show you right now. So I have a condition that's checking whether this category right here of outreach is empty or not. So this step is going to filter out everybody we've already called and only leave the people who we haven't called yet. And because there probably will be quite a few people that we haven't called yet in our database, Base, I've actually included this little limit step right here to limit how many people I want to actually call every single day. And because this is just a test workflow, I've set it to 10. In other words, we'll only be calling 10 of these past clients every single day, but otherwise that's how I've conducted this workflow right here. And because this entire call process is something that we want to repeat for every new client we get, we want to be able to loop over the entire process that we're running through here. All right, so as the first lead gets passed into our system, this is every step that we're about to loop through here. So first up, we're going to actually use an AI step to analyze the past history of each each client here. This is essentially where we're going to be pulling this particular category of data right here and actually using the AI to help us analyze this and prepare it to actually pass on to our voice agent. This just makes a nice little variable that we could pass into retail to actually conduct our call for us. Now I've left a few of these things blank in case you wanted to actually set this up yourself. And by the way, if you need help setting this up, you could always jump into retail's docs and actually read through some of this if you need. But because the voice agent aspect does tend to be what interests people most, I'm going to jump straight into this and show you guys how I've set up this prompt here. Now again, and all of this will be available in my resources if you join my free community. So I'm not going to go super in depth on what we're covering here. Essentially, the prompt is broken down into your traditional categories with a few alterations I've made. So first up for role, I'm just essentially telling the agent who it is, who it works for, and what its ultimate goal is. This is also where I'm passing in the variables that I'm getting from N8N. All of the relevant information that we've gotten from Airtable and from this AI step, I'm just passing directly in so that the agent has that context so it can actually conduct the conversation well. Next up under task, I'm just creating an itemized breakdown of everything this agent needs to handle along with a set of instructions for how it's supposed to conduct every step from introducing itself all the way to qualifying and booking a meeting if it's relevant to do so. 
And after that, I have a little operating instruction section where I'm essentially telling the agent how to operate, how to conduct itself, how to respond to different scenarios. And of course, I could have added a lot more to this, but just for the purposes of this demo, I didn't need to make this prompt all that complicated in order to get the agent to work well. Now, the last two sections here are my context, which gives the agent a little bit more background on what its role is and how it really fits into my systems with my hypothetical real estate agency. And then finally, one of the most important parts is our example conversation here. Now, if you read through this, you'll probably see how closely it mirrors the demo that we just went through. And the whole purpose of this is just to reinforce all of the instructions that we've included up until this point. This is part of how you really train an AI agent to do what you want it to do. And by including a sample conversation, you give it that extra bit of training to actually conduct conversations exactly the way that you want it to. Now, of course, there's a lot more we could get into when it comes to testing the agent, refining the prompts, messing around with our call settings. But just to keep things simple, this is the main material that's letting our AI agent work here. And if we jump back into N8N, once every call has been completed, we're gonna be checking if each person has actually answered or not. And the way that I'm gonna be doing this Again, there are a couple of other ways that you can handle this as well, but I'm taking the data directly from retail and checking if the transcript is empty, which will mean that there was no call. Therefore, the person didn't answer. So if the person didn't answer, we're actually going to wait 30 seconds. If the person didn't answer, we're gonna actually wait 30 seconds and send them an SMS to actually follow up with them and, and see if they can actually call us back here. And again, if you're setting this up yourself, you could just insert your own numbers here to actually get this to work here. But if the person did answer, we actually have another AI step here, which is going to summarize that entire call so that we can help track things within our own system. Retail does have a function for this, but I'm just gonna be doing this on my own within NADN. And mainly what we're looking for here is to just categorize the call as positive or negative, whether the person was interested and booked a call, or if they weren't interested, or they had some sort of negative response that we don't want to follow up with. And that's essentially what this is looking for here, just to determine if the conversation was either positive or negative. Either way, we're going to just update our Airtable. If it was a positive interaction, we'll just update it as called. If it was a negative interaction, then we'll update this category as not interested. And finally, for every hot lead, we're actually gonna be doing the same process you saw before, which is to send me a direct SMS like you saw in the demo just to keep me updated on everything that's happening with my leads. Whether the workflow ends with a positive or a negative, either way, we're gonna be looping back to our start here so that we can start with our next lead. And this is what maintains the entire loop and allows us to essentially batch call people. Now, in this case, once the system is done looping through all 10 people, it'll actually send me an SMS again. The AI system is essentially keeping me updated that it's completed its calls for the day, and it'll jump back on tomorrow so I can get sort of a report back from my little AI team here. This just helps me make sure that the system is working and that it's doing its job properly. But that's about all I wanted to cover in this video today when it comes to this AI real estate caller. So if you stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate you for watching. I hope you guys could see the value in this one and why I took so much time to actually design this flow along with this entire voice agent system here. And I'll be sure to let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. And I would also appreciate it if you consider dropping a like and a subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and were able to get some value out of it. By the way, if you're actually serious about implementing AI in your business or you just want to learn more about implementing AI just so that you can stay ahead of the curve, then go ahead and hit my first link in the description to join my free community. And you can gain access to things like exclusive courses, Q and A's with me, insider AI info, and a whole bunch of AI templates just like this one that you can start using right away. Otherwise, you can hit link number two if you're interested in working directly with me one-on-one -on -one if you own a business or you're a real estate pro yourself and you wanna iron out some AI strategy, take a look at what AI agents can do for your business and ultimately improve your efficiency, scale your business, and start earning some time back. But with all that said, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you all in the next one.